Hey guys, it's Nunker here doing my uh, UFC 86 <clears throat> undercard preliminary card um, predictions. Um, UFC 86 Jackson versus Griffin that'll be on July 5th, 2008, 10 p.m. live on pay per view at the Mandalay Bay Events Center, Nevada. So, in my previous video, you know, I did my uh, my main card predictions. <clears throat> but I decided in this video, I'll do another one doing the preliminary card. So that's what I'll be doing today. And I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I appreciate it and all of the good feedback I got on the previous video. Thank you, guys. Um, I have made a few adjustments, like my computer is charged this time. And I have more time to talk about the, the, the fights because I'm not in a rush this time. So I'm going to start from the bottom. <clears throat> First fight of the night is Corey Hill versus Justin Butchels. Um, I have seen both of them fight. I remember seeing uh, I remember seeing Justin Butchels lose his last fight. I believe it was to um, Matt Wyman. Here, I'll check. Yes, Matt Wyman. He uh, choked him out with a submission. Submitted him with a choke. Um, in the first round. Now, I think Justin has a lot of potential because I looked at his uh, MMA record out of the UFC and uh, he seems to be pretty well-rounded. Like It seems from his other fights is that he has good ground game and uh, decent stand-up. So, I think though that in this fight against Corey Hill, I think that he's going to want to try to take it to the ground just because I think uh, I think Corey has heavy hands like we saw when he beat not TKO Joe Varis on the same card as uh, Justin. Um, yeah, so I think he has heavy hands and he's going to have a big reach on him. I mean, Corey's 6 foot 4, Justin's 6 foot 6 feet. So uh, plus Justin is a wrestler. Um, Corey has pretty good takedown defense, but I think Justin being a wrestler will be able to take Corey down. And Corey only has two professional MMA fights compared to ten professional MMA fights. You know, Justin's eight and two. And Matt Wyman, you know, he's a tough guy. I think that he's going to be able to put Corey in some positions that he's not going to know what to do. And I think he's going to be able to take him down and probably uh, submit Corey Hill. Um, now, Corey Hill is a guy that you can't really judge yet, because he's 2-0, and but he's only had two fights against not very good competition. Um, so, I mean, Corey can definitely TKO him with that long reach and the heavy hands. He can definitely TKO Justin, but I see Justin winning this one by submission. So I'm going to say Justin Butchel is by submission, although Corey could win. But I'll say Justin by submission. All right, so next fight of the night is Melvin Gillard versus Dennis Siver. Uh, you know, Melvin Gillard left the UFC to get his career back on track after losing to Joe Stevenson and Rich Clemente, two in a row. And I think he had a unanimous decision win out of the UFC. I'm not sure what league. Um, so, yeah, he's back in the UFC. You know, at one point he was at the top of the heap. In the lightweight division, you know, he has wins over uh, Marcus Davis and Gabe Rudiger. Um, Dennis Siver, you know, he's coming off a loss to Gray Maynard by unanimous decision. Um, you know, he also lost to G Jess Leo Din by submission, so he hasn't exactly beaten the toughest. I mean, I mean, he hasn't exactly. Uh, proved himself against tougher competition like Leo Din and Maynard. I mean, he holds a knockout win over Naoyuki Kotani by knockout, but that's not a big win. Um, Siver did show, did show, um, did, did look pretty good against Kotani, but, uh, he suffered that loss to Maynard. Um, but anyways, Melvin Gillard, I think that in this fight, Gillard's going to have a lot more experience. You know, he has 30, he's 39, 8, and 3. Siver's only 11, 5. So I think that's going to come into play. I think that 
the fact that Melvin Gillard needs to win this fight is gonna is gonna show. Um, I think Gillard's two inches taller, so I'll probably have to reach on him. Um, I think Gillard has heavier hands than him. And I think that if, if it goes to the ground, I don't think that Gillard will have any problems there. Um, so I got to go with Melvin Gillard by TKO on this one. All right. So next fight of the night is George Gergel versus Cole Miller. Now, George Gergel is a... Uh, you know, he's had a rocky UFC career, like, like, like it's been, like, loss, win, loss, win, that kind of thing. Um, I remember he beat Diego Sariva, Th and then he lost to Alvin Robinson, and now he just beat John Halverson. Let me check out his profile. Yeah, he lost, all of his fights went to unanimous decision. <laughs> um, all five fights. But anyways, coming off a win to John Halverson, not the most impressive I mean, it, it, he looked good in the fight, just John Halverson is the biggest name to beat. Cole Miller, 13-3, um, <clears throat> um, holds a big win over Leonard Garcia. That was impressive, by unanimous decision. Um, coming off the loss to Jeremy Steffens by TKO. So, um, I think that Miller is taller well, he is taller than Grigel. You know, Grigel is 5'9", Miller's 6'1". Um, also, but Grigel has a couple more fights, but I don't think that will come into factor. I mean, it's only three more fights. Um, I do think Grigel will have the advantage on the ground. I think he's Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt or something like that. I'm sorry if I'm mistaken. Um, and Cole Miller... Um, Man, I've seen him fight once, but I really haven't seen his other fights. Uh, saw his fight against Garcia and stuff. Um, all right, but from from what I know of, I think Gergel is just a better better fighter, and he's gonna be able to take it to the ground and sub <clears throat> submit Cole, Cole Miller. So on this one. On this one, I gotta go with uh, George Gergel. Very close fight. George Gergel by uh, submission. And by the way, also, I think if it stands on the feet, you know, Gergel's a pro kickboxer, so I don't think we'll have much problems there. So I gotta go with Gergel by submission. Close fight. And the last fight on the preliminary undercard is Gabriel Gonzaga versus Justin McCauley. Uh, like I said, I wanna see this fight. Um, I, McCauley was supposed to fight Frank Mir, but then Mir got chosen to be an Ultimate Fighter to uh, with no, Antonio Minotauro, Rodrigo and O'Gara. So they put Gabriel Gonzaga instead. Gabriel Gonzaga's coming off two losses to uh, TKO to Randy Couture and TKO to Fabricio Verdum. Um, obviously, we've seen what this guy can do. He has heavy hands, great submissions, and great kicks. He's so well-rounded. You saw him knock out Mirko Krokop and beat Submit Carmelo Marrero. Um, so I think that I don't see any spot really that McCauley has the advantage in. Um, so, so on this one, I have got to go with uh, Gonzaga by TKO because uh, just because. I think he's an all-around better fighter, and he'll be able to knock him out or submit him, Justin McCauley. Um, so on this one, I got to go with Gabriel Gonzaga by submission. Thank you for my subscribers. See you